This is my first look at the Windows 8 uh, interface. Uh, first glance it seems incredibly confusing um, and a little bit distracting. Um, not used to having things just automatically updating in front of me. Although the information that is updating is something that interests me, like the latest news, etc. I guess I'm used to having the traditional Windows interface, start button, with the normal icons. And it just looks a little bit too busy. You mean cluttered? Cluttered. Yeah. It just looks a little bit too cluttered, a bit... Um, obviously there are things that, at the moment, because it's my son's computer, there are things on there that I wouldn't be using, such as games, perhaps video. And it seems... You go on, I'll tell you what you can do. It seems as if Windows have more, more aimed this at the tablet market more than the desktop computer or no. the laptop. It's... Um, I noticed it in other applications as well that I'm using the Avast um, antivirus program and they've gone for a tablet interface. Um, and it's, it's also the mixture of colours that mm. I don't... I mean, I want to see my desktop picture with my icons on the picture rather than have um, the tiles that... Can you find a desktop? Can I find a desktop? That is a very good question. <laughs> Um, if there was a button marked desktop I'd probably be able to find it it doesn't look particularly um, I'd say intuitive at the moment I have found the desktop now because there happens to be a tab marked desktop but having gone to that I find it a little sparse though I like seeing the, the, the image um, I'm used to having icons and I don't particularly like Sidebars, I tend to deactivate sidebars whenever I find them. But that's coming from the actual browser. Right. It, it's in that, yes, and that's the part of the MaxFond app. Yeah, browser. yeah, yeah. And I've actually turned, on my version of MaxFond, I've got that turned off as well. Yeah. Um, I want to see more icons. Like if I want my mail program, I expect to have an icon there, Thunderbird, or whatever I'm using. Because I've done it loads yet. Right. Uh, but you've got the browser there. Um, otherwise it looks as if it could be something you'd get used to but I'm not sure being my first experience of looking at Windows 8 I don't know if you have to have the tab interface or if you can revert to something which is a little bit more comfortable if you like something I'm used to rather than something that I'm just hoping that it isn't something that Windows have forced on you. And a little bit like um, Google tends to force things on people um, when they change their programs, when they, for example, don't allow you to turn off both the instant and the suggestions. Um, I just hope it, that Microsoft hasn't gone completely down that route and completely um, switched to the tabbed interface and sort of left a lot of the users behind who might not be used to that uh, and perhaps wouldn't want that mm. on their operating system. But there are add-ons as well to put uh, a Windows 8 right. style. Now, be, that's a little bit confusing when you see the word store mm -hmm. because you get the impression whenever you see the word store that you've got to pay for something. Buy a bit of both. Right. And I didn't know that. Yeah. Now I know now you said that. But I wouldn't have known before and it could have put me off. Right. I could have thought store means I've got to get my credit card out, my debit card you out. Prefer like app store. Is that different? It's different, um but then do I need apps? I'd sooner download a program rather than app. It seems like they that Microsoft have tried to copy Apple. Right. They tried to copy the iPhone approach with apps. 
or they've tried to copy the Google Android approach with apps rather it's than downloading also similar, the program. similar with the um, Windows Phone. Yeah. I haven't used the Windows Phone. Um, I've heard people that couldn't get used to it, couldn't get used to the, the whole interface. But it looks good otherwise. Um, obviously, it, it's once you get used to something... I mean, I remember the first computer I ever had was Windows ME. Mm. And now, looking back, you wonder how on earth it ever coped, mm. particularly with the sound of the, the dial-up yeah. and being disconnected every two hours and then having to go back online. Can you find the Metro screen or look, the start screen again? Can yeah, I find... scroll, scroll around every corner. I am looking... I'm pressing a few buttons and getting slightly lost. I've come. I've just found this is a document screen at the moment. Um, Try the left down. Oh, I see. Okay. That's that one. That's right down. Right down. Right to the edge of the corner. Go right to the edge. See, I can see the start screen there. Again, it's not. If you didn't know, because those functions are hidden, because they, they it doesn't say start, mm. it's a little confusing at first. Right mouse click on that. I've right mouse click on start and I've got things like program features, mobility centre, power options, etc. My computer? Uh, possibly. I've got control panel, task manager... File Explorer, etc. Desktop. Why well, mouse click the my, my, um, right mouse click the desktop. Right mouse click the desktop. That. Rather than the word desktop. Then Pop I've got the same functions as previous. Like properties. Resolution. No, I haven't got properties. I've got uh, personalized. Then sorry. Personalized. Change desktop icon, um, icons. Change desktop icons. Tick the icons you want to see, like my computer. Although that's added things like my computer, it's not really the icons I want to be seeing. I want to be seeing all the icons I'd be used to, for example, all my mail programs. Yeah, just need to download them first. Right. But I could use it as a desktop. Yeah. Rather than start with the start menu all the time. Having the start menu. So you can have a more traditional look to it. Yeah. Even though one thing I do notice through Windows 8 from from what I've seen and what I've seen when you've been using it is how fast it is generally. Yeah. And that could be part of that is because of the of, of the broadband service that we have, which is fast. Yeah. Compared to, I mean, remember our first ever broadband, which was DSL. Pretty slow, but this is good. And it obviously things have changed so much since we first had the internet. When we first had the internet, every time we were using. Every time we were on the web, no one could phone us. Right. We couldn't phone out. Close that window. Can you find the maximum browser on the desktop? I can find the maximum browser. I can even try and open it. And go to one of your sites. Type in your one your view. You have to come down a bit. Just but And go to your forum. And enter.
Yeah, it's loaded pretty fast, actually. It's just that I still don't like the, having a sidebar there. It's only because it's the, the maximum. You can change the, any other... Yeah, but you can also turn the sidebar off on Right, that. right. There's an, I haven't had a chance to do that yet. down there in the corner. And you can actually turn it off in the settings as well. And again, one of the things I like about this browser and um, Firefox and all the Firefox um, derivatives such as Palmoon um, and the, the other one that's run by Komodo, Komodo Ice Dragon, is that they have the bookmark toolbar. Rather than having to keep clicking on bookmarks and scrolling down and trying to find the one you want, you, the ones you use most frequently, you can actually locate yeah. in, in the toolbar. Also, if you click on the tab, um, click on next. Yeah, what do you think of, of how the toolbar adds like that? That's something I don't like. It's something that they, that Maxton seems to have. You can change them. Right. Seems to have taken over. The idea of that from from Chrome, right. and one of the things I dislike with Chrome and with this is the t the tabs being so high up. I prefer to have the tabs underneath the the address bar rather than above them. How do you mean? Can you point to it? Yeah, I point to it here. The tabs are up here. All right. On Firefox, you can choose to have them lower. Um. Personalize I've checked. I don't this. know if you can personalize. No, this. I haven't. Well, you can't be yeah. Chrome. Um, I'm not sure about this, but I, if I do want to type an address in, in Chrome, I don't want it suggesting to me, based on my history, or based on my bookmarks. Now, if it's something that's in my bookmarks, I'm not normally going to type the address out in full. So. I don't like having a big drop down of um, suggestions if, coming up. With this one, we just. Exit. Now, that's something I personally don't like. It's something that I've actually deactivated in Firefox. And the most of the time, I'm using the, the, the bookmark toolbar, and or I'm. What's wrong? Oh, I just want to go to a new tab. Alright. Um, I'm using the bookmark toolbar. Or I'm using a link from an email or something rather than think. And I, although there's programs there, in, suggestions there that I would use, there's things that I wouldn't. And I, what, what would you use? I probably wouldn't use um, the Google link or the Bing. Right, close, right mouse click on Google. You done it? What's wrong? Yep. Delete. And you can delete. Okay. But knowing me, this is what's annoyed me there. Mm. It still shows it says Google. No, because there's above. All oh, right. Okay. All right. Um, now I wouldn't have any there. I, I, I would find I would have deleted the whole lot. Well, you got a Hotmail address, yeah? I do have a Hotmail address. Yes. Um, your Hotmail address would be your login. For what? For the whole system. Now that is something or you I can would have... intensely dislike because um, I don't go to Hotmail. You I don't have to have you, no. You just you don't have to use the email. Right. To use it's users. Just that I don't use Internet Explorer. I find it's a, whenever I've used Internet Explorer, I've had more problems with malware. And had to clear off more problems with particularly ActiveX than I ever did with any other browser. But um, I suppose it's something you could get used to, but I don't particularly like. Um, again, it's more going back to like a tabbed effect, not something I particularly want to be involved with. Okay, your good points. Good points. Okay, the the speed is good. Um, the program launching is relatively fast. 
but there's um, things that I wouldn't I wouldn't use and I'd either want to hide them or delete them um, and it's difficult I wouldn't know at this stage because I don't know what's in the store I don't know whether I'd be whether things I would use or not like I, mean, I would be more used to like a, a traditional RSS feed than what you had on the desktop or what you had on the start page with the updating information. Right. Now, looking at that page, I would find that slightly disorientating to have two or three or even more programs updating at the same time and flashing. And I could possibly see that being a problem for someone, particularly with something, something perhaps with photosen- photosensitive epilepsy. Yeah, but that's not actually updating the app. Right. That's updating any the latest storage for the app. Yeah, that's what, that's what I mean. Because that's all happening, and it's happening in more than one screen, it could be distracting. Right. And it, for some people with certain health conditions, it could be a bad thing. Okay, anything you don't like? Um... I don't like the non-traditional desktop with the non-traditional icons. Mm. I'd want everything on the desktop. I wouldn't have anything want anything to do with the start page particularly. Mm. And if you could bypass the start page and go straight to a traditional desktop, it would I, it would be better for me. Right. Anything else? No. Thank you.